what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl ebony b here thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video in today's video i am going to be covering my acne journey um this is gonna probably be a pretty quick video i don't intend to make this a long video but i wanted to give you guys updates on how i've been able to manage my acne and kind of rid some of my acne or majority of my acne i'm gonna just keep it real i'm gonna be as honest as i can and hopefully this video is very helpful for some of you who are just stressed depressed those of you who have self-esteem issues because of your acne just those of you who just are affected by your acne on an everyday basis and you kind of just want to hear something real like yes you want a cure we all all want a cure to acne we all want to have flawless skin we all want to be able to just drink whatever we want eat whatever we want and our skin cooperates with us we all just we just want an easy skin journey we don't want acne anywhere who wants acne so hopefully this video is helpful for some of you before i get into this video make sure you guys add me on tiktok okay i put my name on the screen for y'all it's i am ebony b with an underscore at the end make sure you add me on tiktok i'm not sure how much longer we'll have tiktok or how much longer tiktok is gonna be jumping but your girl has been loving tiktok and i'm about to really get into tiktok heavier and heavier and heavier so make sure you add me on there chat with me on there leave comments all right y'all so getting into this video i'm going to share some pictures with you all this is from september of 2019 to about december of 2019 december is when the acne started clearing up really like it started really fading away and stuff so yeah i'll say september 2019 to december 2019 my face went crazy y'all it went bonkers and i feel like i know what caused it so let's go ahead and check out these pictures so you can see that i'm not making up that i had a bad acne journey none of that okay check these pictures out Right, and this is my face now. Not perfect, but I mean, who's perfect? You know, I still, like, I'm on my cycle right now. TMI, I'm sorry if you're a guy and you're watching this, I apologize. But um, I do get period acne as well. So I do have a bump here that's period acne and I had two little bumps here that were period acne. I know the difference between period acne and then just regular acne because period acne hurts. <laughs> It hurts me anyways um it's like really tender fragile you don't really want to push down too hard because it just hurts it's like a sore really it feels like it just sores you just don't touch that acne you know also speaking of touching acne this whole myth about popping acne creates more acne or popping acne creates acne scars i'm gonna call it a myth should you be popping your pimples the right way yes if you're gonna pop them the wrong way no the right way from what i was in, encouraged by the dermatologist that i went to a long long time ago you kind of want to like poke it to like put a little hole in it so that the pus and stuff can come out um but some people don't do that some people just go in and you know pop 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 and they don't really do like any specific steps with it to like prep your skin to be ready to be basically assaulted and i'm saying that it's a myth because there are multiple times that i did not pop any of the pimples that were on my face and when they went away they still left a scar those pictures that you've seen of my acne journey all of that majority of those pimples i was not popping majority of them i probably popped i don't know two three four at the most from september 2019 to december 2019 that long span i'm not even a pimple popper i don't like seeing stuff like that i'd rather not pop my pimples just because i'm not really a fan of it but if i had somewhere to be and i had to look a certain way and i felt like mm, you know you really are not kind of not enhancing the beauty right now you're kind of not adding to the look so i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of you then i'll do it so majority of that the scarring all of that the pimples went away on their own which is possible pimples do go away on their own without popping them sometimes you just have to be patient and let them just squeeze their own selves out let them turn into a whitehead and just slowly dry up and fall off basically that still had acne scars even with leaving them alone so i do want to say that is a myth i do feel like it's solely based on your genetics i feel like it's solely based on your skin type like do you scar easily 
easily or do you bruise easily like everything is i feel like is based on your skin type so that's one way and of course i learned it can be based on what you consume i cut out dairy that's that's definitely a big one for me um i cut out the big consumption of dairy it's rare that i eat a lot or drink a lot of dairy products it's like it just affects me in a negative way and my acne is one of those negative ways that dairy affects me if i consume too much um i would say between the months of september 2019 and december 2019 i did try drinking insure um i started insure i think they're like little milkshakes but insure i started drinking because i was trying to gain weight once i started drinking insure my face went bananas okay so i know for a fact that dairy is just not my friend so this is not my first acne journey video on my channel i've been struggling with acne since 2016 i want to say 2015 that's when i actually started getting like forehead acne really bad um but 2016 is when i started getting full face full blown hey you got acne sis um 2016 i would say was that year when you know i felt like my body was just honestly i feel like my body was going through changes you know i was entering into young adulthood and i just feel like my body was still like trying to figure out where it needed to be how it wanted to flow how it wanted to go 2016 that whole journey video i'll make sure i tag that in this video i also put it in the description box below the link to that but 2016 i just thought that was gonna be the end you know i think it was from 2016 to 2017 my face started acting up and i just thought that was it i just thought okay we made it through that ugly phase basically because it was like nothing i was doing was working nothing was getting rid of my acne i ended up going to see a dermatologist but yeah so we have dairy products is something that i cut out sugars is something that i cut back on and stress is something that i've been trying to manage and control you know we have sometimes we have control over stress and sometimes we don't have control over stress mind over matter i guess and of course you guys i've been drinking water i drink a lot of water a lot of water um the type of water that i've been consuming a lot lately is cucumber and lemon water um sometimes it's just cucumber sometimes it's just lemon water even though i feel like water is not the cure to acne i do 100 percent believe that it has a big role in controlling your acne you just you gotta love water you have to love water even when they try to play without water we can get into that okay we're not gonna get to the government y'all think y'all slick um the last thing that i want to touch on will be my skincare routine i do not wash my face every single morning I don't do it every other night. I don't do it every two nights. I don't do it every three nights. You know when I wash my face? Let me tell y'all when I actually do a legit deep cleansing skincare routine. When I wear makeup, that's the only time. Literally the only time. Any other morning, I'm really just throwing water on my face, patting it dry. Sometimes I'll put like the, I have this Cerave lotion that I use. Sometimes I'll put that on my face so that I won't be walking around with an ashy face. But for the most part, I don't deep exfoliate and gentle cleanser and serum and all of that other stuff i don't do that on a daily basis um i did not do that from september to december on a daily basis from september 2019 to december 2019 i basically probably started out doing a skincare routine for like maybe the first couple weeks in september rolling into october but for the most part i eventually stopped and i just kept it as simple as throwing water on my face patting it dry in 2019 the acne eventually went away on its own i did change up my eating habits though but i was not washing my face every single day so that's one thing that i'm keeping it a whole buck 50 with y'all on but yeah guys that was pretty much it i said the video wasn't gonna be too long i tried not to make the video too long anyways pretty much cut and dry that's my acne journey um like i said i'm gonna tag some videos from my old journey just letting you all see that this is not my first rodeo with having vicious acne because i honestly feel like that acne was vicious like i feel like that acne came with the thunder okay please be sure to let me know if this video was beneficial to you by thumbsing up the video if you have any more questions or just curiosities about my acne journey feel free to drop them in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video bye